picture here, along with Molly. She's parked over there in her spot. <laughs> She's getting to be about as lazy as I am. Anyhow, I had a company called San Linky send me an item uh, for me to do a review on. In exchange, I get to keep the item. So I want to let you know up front, this is a compensated review. But I've never lied to you yet, and I won't lie to you in the future, and I'm not lying to you today. So take that for what it's worth. Man's only as good as his word, so however you feel. Here's what they sent me. A navigation GPS system. And it's pretty cool. This is a 7-inch screen, and it's got a little bracket here on the back, as you can see. And there's this other part here that comes with it, uh, so you can attach it to your windshield or any other smooth surface. Now, if I have to pick one thing that I really don't like about this, it's this thing. These little knobs, I don't know, can you see them? Right there, they're little knoblets. Fit into these holes and slide up. Like so. It doesn't really lock. They just go up in there. And that's all that will hold it onto your windshield. Now, I've had it in my car. I put it in there once. I didn't trust this thing, so I put a folded up towel on the dashboard underneath it. And I'm glad I did because I hit a darned old pothole and this thing came off and landed in that towel. So it still works, but if it were me, I would take this. It's got a flat spot here that matches up with a flat spot under here. And I would uh, I'd epoxy or glue it somehow, put some glue on here and pop it in and let it set up and just let that be a permanent attachment. This is uh, what came in the box. I don't like to do. I don't like box openings. I don't know why anybody'd be interested in watching somebody open a box and take a bunch of junk out. But each to their own. I'm not going to be doing that. But you get the unit right here. You get this cheesy little this little mount. I should get off of its case. This little. USB cable um, because you can hook this unit. You see, right, right here. I don't know where you're going to see it at, but right, right there. Um, and you can plug this into your computer. And uh, you'll see why in a minute why that's kind of important. I think you can charge this battery off of this. Uh, I'm not sure, but even if you can't, they give you this. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Um, this just plugs into the unit, plug it into any, you know, 12 volt you know, cigarette lighter plug type thing, and it'll run off of this, and it will also charge itself, which, <laughs> if I have to pick one thing about this unit, that I really, really, really like is the fact that this unit is self-contained. It's got a rechargeable battery in it. You do not have to plug it in to use it. And uh, that's pretty cool because I've had two GPS units before this one, and neither one of them worked without being plugged into a, to a power source. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you also get... This handy dandy little uh, user's manual. I'll get it here someplace where you can see it. And it's it's not bad. Uh, well, my you know my poor arthritic fingers aren't too good. You get the gist. It's an instruction booklet. It came with it, and it's not too bad. It's obviously been translated from Chinese, because that's where this thing came from, is China. But it's really not bad. Uh, I guess what I should say about that is I played with this thing.
just sitting in my chair, just messing with it. And uh, once I got it charged up, and uh, I figured out how to use pretty much everything it can do just by playing with it. It's not hard. It's it's a pretty simple interface. Uh, it's pretty good. And I'll put a, a link down, you know, down here in the video description where you can go get one of these for your very own. Fifty-five bucks, give or take a dollar or two. Get you the whole works. It does. And uh, I think that's a fantastic deal. I can't get a signal in here. This building is all steel and concrete. I have access to two windows. I have one that faces south and one that faces east. West, sorry, faces west. I can't get a signal holding it up to either one of those windows. Uh, I probably could go downstairs, go outside, whatever. But it would just be to show you that it will uh, uh, set your directions for you and, and it will give you step-by-step -step instructions. There's a variety of voices that you can set, which is kind of neat too. Um, so, all in all, it's a... Uh, it works for navigation. I'm sure it will. I, I didn't really use it, but everything else works fine, so uh, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Uh, to turn it on, right here on the top, right there, is a little button. You merely hold it down until it comes on. And then it let off of it. Uh, and get here where you should be able to see it, I hope. And this is the desktop, if you will. Uh, this unit is much more than a navigation unit. It it's awesome. It really is. Uh, it'll play it's like an MP three player. It'll play music. It'll play videos. It'll do a photo slideshow. Uh, e-books, I, that I haven't messed with because I don't know what it is. Flash, I'm not sure what that is either, haven't messed with that. Games, it, it has games loaded, I, I think. Your favorites, then of where you go and do things. It's got a calculator, which is pretty cool for doing, you know, like gas mileage and such. A unit converter, which... You know, if you travel out of this country, that might be real handy, and, and in some circumstances here in the country would be handy. Uh, this is FM radio. That's awesome. Uh, that, that, that was cool. I really like that. I really like that a lot. And uh, here's where you set what language you want it to work in. So this, of course, for me is English, but... There's several languages I've never heard of, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you the interfaces here. This is the navigation. Uh, you see this little label down here. That's just the, uh, and I mean, get in your way here. That's just the label to pull the little plastic film cover off of it. Um, I'm leaving it on there for now, so I'm leaving it there because... Uh, I don't want to fingerprint off the screen before I made this video. So, that's all that is. Here you just set your destination. Oops. And you can enter an address, find places, uh, find, find it on the map. Uh, which is, it, it's cool. I'm not going to mess with it because, uh, again, I can't get a satellite in here. And uh, we just want to go back to the menu. So you go up here to the top, press this quickly, and let go. And it takes you right back there, which is pretty neat. Uh, I'll show you a couple more of them here, what they look like at least. Uh, let's, do, uh, let's do the FM. It says FM settings. Touch that. 
96.9. That's the local station here. I was listening to that in the car. But you can... Um, these arrows uh, changes your stations. See how, it, see how it's moving right there? Or you can take your finger, I think. And, yeah. I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see the numbers here. They're going down. They're going back up. So, um, it has, because, I don't know whether the speakers in this work or not. I kind of fudged and took headphones. But it has a, right here, it has, um, like a headphone plug. You can plug headphones right in there to listen, which I wouldn't advise you to do while you're driving. But you could you could put in one of those little plug-in uh, speakers. Uh, you could probably come up with some way to plug this into the sound system on your dash. Uh, I'm sure if you wanted to listen to FM while you're driving, you could figure it out without using headphones. Passengers, of course, could use headphones all they want. Uh, it, it sounds good. It really does. So anyhow, this is the navigation GPS system from Sam Linky in, uh, on Amazon. I'm going to call it enough here. Oh, wait a minute. What I was going to do is, for those of you that I disappointed by not showing you the box, <laughs> here it is. That's what it looks like. And there's a side view. It doesn't really tell you much. I'm not even sure if this GPS navigation is actually even what it's called. I don't know. I really don't. But uh, it's, it's fairly generic. But, you know, you're not paying for name brand either. Anyhow, that's what I have to say about the uh, GPS navigation. Thanks for watching. And from the entire Geezer gang. Right, Molly? <laughs> Happy trails.